Hey guys, Spirit here, and right now, this is my loadout that I'm using for this match. This was one of our rounds from our last Highlander match this season. Um, I don't actually have a full out commentary. What I actually want to do is talk about teamwork and collaboration with your team. That's the whole point of this video is we lost our first match of this round. So now we're on offense. We started on defense. We lost, but we held as long as we could. Our comms and teamwork weren't going as well, so we decided to change up some strategies. We talked throughout the start of spawn. I'm sorry if I'm jumping around spawn a little too much. Uh, it's pre-round. I was bored. I get bored while I'm in spawn. But we work so well together when we decide to change everything up and actually try something different. But the importance of teamwork can be applied to public games. It can be applied to Highlander, Sixes, or even any other game with an objective base to it. Now, out of my years from World of Warcraft, I had to work with a team when I raided and did battlegrounds and arenas. So I, I know what it means to have teamwork and constantly helping your team. And my job on a payload map, I push the cart. That That's my thing, I push cart. If I'm on defense, I watch flank, I watch for spy. I actually help my team as much as possible. But what I can't do, I try and make up for by keeping that cart going, by taking out any th threat that's near the cart, and by pushing the cart and keeping the spy off my medic and my heavy or any of my class teammates. Now, the downside with your teamwork, it's all based on your communication. If you have no communication or you have terrible communication, it's going to be really detrimental to your team. If you don't have a class that could speak, you don't have someone with a mic, or someone's just not listening overall, it's going to really hurt how everything's played out. With this, we were all talking, we were all keeping track of everyone. Okay, where's this guy? Where's this guy? Uh, spy check. Spies around here. Spies disguises this. And we just roll over these guys. They did not see what hit them when we actually worked together and followed through with some strategies that we came up with. In doing so, it actually won us our first round of the match, which I'm surprised the time that we make on it. I believe it was just a little o near four minutes, which was crazy. I had never seen our team actually go that far. Now, if you want to get into Highlander or competitive, I suggest working on communication skills and your teamwork skills. And pick a class that you're good at and practice it. By actually working and practicing, you will improve immensely. Because half of Highlander and any competitive is your experience. If you don't have the experience and practice, you're not going to be very good, meaning you're going to be at a lower skill level than everyone else. And the lower your skill level, it's not going to really help you. Anyways, the video is coming to an end. I hope you like some of my new editing stuff. And thanks for watching.